welcome back to Disney Life Happy Wife. Um, today we're going to show you some planning favorites. Lucia loves to plan too, so we're just doing that as well. So I'm going to show you my planners first. This is my go-to, okay? I have a mini happy planner. It's horizontal. It's beautiful. I love it. I wouldn't have thought I love it, but I love it. Because I had a big happy planner when they very first came out and I hated it because I tried to take it everywhere and eventually the cover got so worn it wouldn't stay on the rings. But now I love that. And I love that I can insert, like I bought the note pages and I can insert them in and write things down and it's just fun. Um, some weeks are very wonderful and I do a really good job of decorating it and keeping up with everything written and doing my checklists and yada yada yada. Oops, geez, Louise doesn't normally do that. Some weeks I keep up and everything's wonderful. Some Again, this is another wonderful week that I did mostly everything. This this is last week, okay? This, this is just a little bit of like what I put in. Today I rolled over for the first time. Today my first tooth came through because that was my last week. I didn't have time. I decorated it on Sunday and didn't have time to write anything else then. So that and then this week is about the same. Uh, so I'm trying to get better about it. Like this was a beautiful layout and I'll probably go in and fill out the things that we did do anyway. Um, but yeah. So that is my mini happy planner. I spent way too much money on this beautiful Erin Condren last year, and I used it for months, months and months. Let's see here. I used it for baby names, like here's, this is October, and my weeks when I was pregnant, and like all of my things, my countdown to, to Disney, everything, um, and it just, like look at this beautiful one, it's beautiful. I just, it's difficult for me to set this down on my end tables, my end tables are small, and that's where my planner lives. Uh, and I also don't have that many things to fill out the big vertical things, so I've kind of made my, so I wanted this to work for me, it's just too big, so I've tried to multi-purpose some of my Erin Condren planner stickers that I bought from Etsy and stuff to work in my mini happy planner and for the most part it's worked. So now I'm going to show you some of my favorite things to use while planning and uh, go from there. So first of all, we love the Papermate Ink Joy Gels. I wish that the colors came in 0.5 instead of 0.7 because I prefer a slightly thinner um, point pen. But I did order some gel pens from China, so we'll see how those work out. Because they are tinier. I think they're 0.5 or 0.4. Um, yes. Um, I can't because I'm off. You are ripping it. Because I'm off. Sweetheart, like this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, first, Lucy is going to show you her washi tape that she uh, picked out at Michael's today. Go up there and show them. I got, I got some butterfly ones. I got two butterfly ones. Some all the way up, all the, some, and here's a oval. Here's a big one, here's a small one. <laughs> okay, and then I bought, because, so Michael's today had 40% off these little wash tape sets, which I really should have gotten more of them because they were so stinking cute. But I found these, so for the mini happy planner, I prefer the narrow washi. Um, so I got these, like this one's got five in it. It's just adorable. This one's got six in it because it's got two really skinny ones. And then this one has five in it as well. I like the multicolor because then it doesn't matter like what my theme is. I can just use it and then use my colorful pens and it's cute. And sometimes I use colorful pens. Sometimes I do all black pen and only colorful stickers. My next favorite is this stencil. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Here, let me try this. Is this stencil. I got it from Michaels. I think it was $5 regularly and I had a 40% off coupon. Um, so I spent like almost nothing on it. And I actually, this was like longer. It had some bigger squares down here. But I cut it because I never used them for my mini happy planner. And then this actually fits to just be thrown in there. 
I could punch it on the one side to make it actually snap in there, but I chose not to. But Lucy loves that stencil as well. So now we'll talk more washi. Um, so I keep my washi, it's kind of falling apart now, but I decorated this little box. It's actually a Pampered Chef, uh, like one of their sauces comes in these boxes. And uh, one of my planner friends, Gina, actually sells Pampered Chef, so she gave me this box to keep washi in. So I decorated it. It's kind of crazy and not like the best, but it's cute enough. And it holds like my absolute favorite washi, the ones that I use most often. So I'm going to show you those now. Usually I do it by season and the last, hey, and the last time I uh, organized by season was Christmas, so this is still in there. So this is like my, probably my favorite washi ever is this cat, it's Scotch brand, and they recently, like, oh, I don't know how long ago it was, a little while ago, maybe, I don't think it was fall, maybe it was fall, they came out with a skinnier version that's blue, so I got both of those. This one is probably my least favorite kind of washi, but it's so cute that I don't even care. It's coffee mugs, but it's one that has paper on the back, so it's actually a little bit see-through, which I don't like, but it's still cute, and I love it. This, next one, this is one of my absolute favorites. It's one of the first washies I ever bought. It's cupcakes. Cause who doesn't love cupcakes? Got a bunch of little samples in here too from my planner friends. Um, can never have enough washi. And then I just have like my little macaroons, stripies. Got different chevrons, little really skinny washies. I like that for separating the days. Yes, go ahead and use that one. I just want um, to. This one's got all different colors. I've inherited a lot from a lot of my planner friends. We tend to just bring anything we don't use regularly. We bring to planner meetups and give to each other. When I was making stickers, I always had goodies. But, um, yeah, so that's, those are my favorite washies and how I store them. Next, we're going to talk about... Thank you. Next, we're going to talk about stickers really quick. So I have a few, I don't use a ton of stickers anymore because I, um, I use that stencil a lot. I just do multicolors with that stencil and I try to do either little stickers on the side next to the stencil or I'm trying to use up my stickers too because I do have a lot. But, um, so let me just start out. These little cats, these were another Gina gift actually. They're Hello Cupcake Plants. I just cute little cats. I love them. I use them like this little music guy I use for music class all the time. And there's this one that's caught like thinking of a fish I used for like food. And then like cold days and different things. That's just cute. And then from Wild Sunshine Co. I have Treat Yourself, Treat Yourself. And then I had bought the Pastel Christmas, but it came later. Like I think it actually came didn't end up being delivered until right before London was born, which right after London was born, I was not doing any planning. So I've just been using the pastel extra things, not necessarily the Christmassy ones, but I love the pastels. They look so cute with just the plain black and like the, my happy planner, it's not super pastel-y, but like it's got the watercolor-y like on the inside here. So I like how the pastel stickers look in it. So we've got all these different, this again came in the kit, but I'm sure there are different kits that are similarly colored that aren't Christmas. And then I also have these, these, hold on please, I am also I also really love these quarter boxes I think, they're just skinny boxes, they work really well for the mini happy planner. Um, I love, these are probably, I don't use them that often because I kind of hoard them, but I love them, they're little banners, I got that from, um, one orange snowflake on Etsy. They, uh, she, I actually got like a misfit grab bag thing and those were in there and I loved it. Um, and then I just have to show you these little boy, little baby boy stickers from Planner Penny. I love, the only thing about Planner P Penny is she uses the vinyl laminate for the stickers so you have to write on them with a sharpie which is not my favorite. But they're just so cute. Her designs are adorable, and I have a ton of her kits. I just love it. Lastly, sticker-wise, I love the Create 65 Happy Planner sticker books. Um, I am disappointed that they don't have, like, a dedicated mini Happy Planner one. I think that 
I would buy every single book if they had ones that were dedicated to the mini happy planner. Um, my favorite one is the mama, the mom, like, set, because they have some really hilarious things. Like the first page, um, hashtag mom life, hashtag mom bud Monday, mom hair don't care, so tired, adulting is hard, happy day, yoga pants, messy bun, coffee on, get it done. I love those. They've got like play date, little coffees. These ones are like workout, like fill descriptions, dentist doctor appointment, me time, my auntie patty, more like little quotes, um, packing for vacation, family vacation, flight information, saw family weekend, my family, heart my family, movie night, game night. I love it. I love the font that they use. It's just so cute. And then my app, and then I also do like, got birthday stickers here as well, and then, oh, this just came out. But this is my absolute favorite. And gold, in that same font, they have all of the holidays, which are super. So that is like encompasses, um, encompasses my absolute planning favorites. Um, maybe... If you guys like what you see, all you can do a plan with me. Um, we'll see. Go ahead. Um, these, this is scarf on the mouth. Is this my favorite stick? Yeah. Okay, now sit on my lap and we'll, we'll do the ending together. How about that instead? Okay. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button down below. <laughs> Join the family if you like the Disney Lifestyle Mommy Vlogs. Some toy videos soon. Um, like and comment if you have any questions for us. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>